Notion is a great tool, but when it comes to Confluence, that will confuse you which one is better. So what are the differences between the two, and who's going to win? Let's get started. We're going to break down and compare these six crucial categories that define the way we work and collaborate. Content management. How do Notion and Confluence handle the organization and storage of your valuable content? Confluence excels in content management. It allows teams to create, share, and collaborate on content in a structured and organized manner. Its rich text editor and variety of content types, from meeting notes to project plans, make it a versatile tool for content creation and management. Notion, on the other hand, also offers robust content management features. It supports a variety of content types, including text, images, and embedded videos. Its unique block-based approach allows users to create complex layouts and structures, making it a powerful tool for content management. Space management. Navigating the digital landscape is key. Which platform provides the most intuitive and effective space management features? To be honest, in terms of space management, Confluence stands out. It allows teams to create dedicated spaces for different projects or teams, making it easier to organize and manage content. Each space can have its own set of permissions, ensuring that the right people have access to the right information. Notion, while not offering a dedicated space management feature, allows users to create separate pages and subpages, which can serve a similar purpose. However, it lacks the granular permission controls found in Confluence. Note-taking. Taking notes is a fundamental aspect of productivity. Let's explore the note-taking capabilities of Notion and Confluence. While Confluence supports note-taking, it's not its primary focus. Notes in Confluence are typically part of larger documents or projects. Notion, however, shines in this area. It offers a versatile note-taking feature that supports a variety of content types. Users can create simple text notes, add images, create checklists, and even embed code snippets. This makes Notion a powerful tool for capturing and organizing information. Task management. Stay on top of your tasks with ease. We'll dissect how these apps tackle task management to keep you on the road to success. Both Confluence and Notion offer task management features. Confluence allows users to create tasks, assign them to team members, and track their progress. It also integrates with Jira, a popular project management tool, for more advanced task management capabilities. Notion's task management features are more flexible. Users can create tasks as standalone items or as part of larger projects. Tasks can be assigned to team members, and their status can be tracked using a variety of views, including table, Kanban, and calendar views. Real-time collaboration. Collaboration is king in today's interconnected world. Which tool facilitates seamless real-time collaboration and teamwork? Both Confluence and Notion support real-time collaboration. In Confluence, users can see who else is viewing or editing a page in real time, and changes are automatically saved and synced. It also supports page permissions, so you can control who interacts with your pages. Pricing. Let's talk numbers. Which of these platforms offers the best bang for your buck? We'll break down the pricing structures to help you make an informed decision. Confluence offers a tiered pricing structure. It starts with a free plan for up to 10 users, making it a cost-effective choice for small teams. For larger teams, the pricing begins at $5.75 per user per month when billed monthly for the standard plan and $11 for the premium plan. For annual billing, for a tier of 110 users, the standard and premium plans cost $580 and $1,100 per year, respectively. You can input the number of users on your team on their pricing page to get a more accurate estimate of the fee to expect. Notion, on the other hand, also offers a free plan, but its paid plans start at $8 per user per month when billed annually for the Plus plan, which costs $10 when billed monthly. Its business plan costs $15 per user per month when billed annually and $18 when billed monthly. Notion has an enterprise plan, but the pricing information is not publicly listed. Both offer free plans so you can test them out without any financial commitment. So let's conclude what we talked in from of pros and cons for each. So what do you choose? Both Confluence and Notion have their strengths and weaknesses. If your team needs a tool with strong content and space management features and you're willing to pay a bit more for premium functionalities, or you already use other Atlassian products, Confluence might be the right choice. However, if you're looking for a versatile tool that can handle a variety of tasks and you don't mind a bit of a learning curve, Notion could be a better fit. Thanks for watching.
Hope this helped. If so, hit like and subscribe for more content.